Hey Sneak Peekers, I'm Timo Nelson here at South by Southwest with another red carpet for the series Damascus. for me because I have a 30 year old black son okay. Okay, cool. who has and is going through that identity crisis in America of who in the hell am I? And where do I fit in? Am I, am I street enough? Am I not street enough? Am I too smart? Am I black enough? Am I not black enough? It's the double worlds and the quadruple worlds that as a black man, has to live in, or black people, period, in this country. And so the journey of, of Damascus is one that many, 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 many black men and people of color in this country or in the world go through. It's the identity crisis of who am I and where do I belong? I just want them to be able to appreciate a good black story that's told outside of the box. Um, it's, it's um, like I said, like, Sci-fi is a very special p genre to me, and when it's told with black bodies and, uh, and black words, uh, it just hits different. And I just want them to take that and understand how beautiful of a moment and how much special of a, of a, of a moment this is. Um, and as far as my character, I don't know. I had fun, so I just want them to have fun uh, watching it as much as I did doing it. You know what I mean? Uh, the, the show was actually originally a play. I'm a, originally a playwright, and I wrote this play that was very personal about myself and about grieving and about loss and um, I fell in love with the character because it was me and so I've tried to envision a different way to sort of like uh, play with this character more and at that time in my life I was doing a lot of like traveling and I was a uh, working playwright and I felt like in these different cities and these different places I was becoming totally different people each time I touched down and I wanted to like explore that. Like I've seen a lot of art and literature about code switching, but never, but it's always felt like a burden. And I want to explore it if it's like a superpower. And so I kind of devised this sci-fi world to get into this sort of character-driven story. I think for my character, I loved how she just spoke her mind and the people that were for her showed up. Um, I naturally, you know, like at one point she said something to the regard of I put, always put my foot in my mouth and <laughs> I do sometimes too. <laughs> so I loved that she was a flawed human but also dope and if you're right for her you'll show up and the people who show up for you, you know. Can I, ask, yeah. her, can I ask her a question? Yeah. Okay, what was it like to explore your character through so many different like realities and iterations of the same person. Thanks. Yes, um, it was fun. I was definitely a little like nervous, like how extreme or how not extreme to go with each one. But um, the directors were great and they let me play. And I feel like it created, it just created this zany world that you don't always get to do as an actor. And I was so grateful and it was just such a privilege to be able to change it up every single time. And yeah, yeah. and like just, you know, there's some episodes where my character's a little wacky and a little more, you know, bubbly and, and just to see that dynamic, well-rounded version of Naomi. Cause it's all from, you know, Damascus' psyche. So it, she could be whoever she wanted, which was, I loved it. <laughs> what do you think is like the most original aspect of the series? I think it's a point of view. I think it's, it's, it's about a man trying to discover, quite frankly, what it takes to be a successful, successful, happy, achieving, worthwhile black man in America today. I guess the, my, you know, my favorite thing is we took the idea of a like an Alexa or a Siri-like uh, personal assistant. Always around, always available, wherever you are, you can call on her. And so we had a lot of fun doing that kind of stuff. And little things along the way, uh, we just kind of let our imaginations, you know, kind of run free about what would the world look like if in the near future. So it was a lot of fun. My proudest moment of the series is, I think, that it exists at all. You know, like, I, I didn't start off as, a, like, I went from, like, staff writer to showrunner, so I jumped a lot of levels to, because for this project. And so, like, every day I was just learning new stuff and how the set runs and, and also being in charge of it at the same time. So it was kind of, it was a very, like, steep learning experience. But 
Yeah, so that's what I'm sort of proud of, that I made it through it, you know, that I kind of found my bearings in the end, and so, and we have a product to show for it. Yeah, my favorite memory is, is finishing it. So, there you go. So, it's not just a black piece, it's a piece that anybody can identify with. Whether you're gay, you're straight, you're black, you're white, you're male, you're female, everybody's wondering, who am I? Because in the world of, because in the world of social, you know, social media, it's supposed to be social media, but it's very unsociable media. So if you think about that, I think everybody can identify with it. Hook 'em horns. 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 Hook em horns.